Go. Where are you going? Oh, oh, I'm gonna leave my pizza. Go, go. Are you going, man? <laughs> <laughs> are you <laughs> Take a close look. Welcome to the best pizza channel. guys and welcome back uh, from my studio Copelli today this video is going to be very special I almost got burned because this uh, heat from this oven yes today we're using a different oven not the usual oven of my studio we are in Italy of course like you can see here we have an electric oven we have uh, a pan and we are going to make uh, a pizza but with a special guest from Naples Ooh, voila! We have uh, Malati di Pizza. I was watching his video on YouTube. I said, this guy, man, he's good. And he's making pizza at home. How did you learn? How did you find me? I just uh, start to learn how to make pizza at home using YouTube videos, of course, your videos. I spent last eight years of my life in learning it. So if oh, I God. can do something, it's also thanks for your oh, videos thanks, and thanks, your work he contacted me say maybe is uh, uh, is impossible to do a video i said everything is possible i'm gonna give him a shot to make a pizza in the pan i did it myself but i want to see how is his pizza so make sure guys to check his channel out malati di pizza i'm gonna leave a description uh, i'm gonna leave the link in description also i'm gonna write it down somewhere here malati di pizza malati di pizza means crazy for pizza and today I want you to try the, the pizza romana it's a pan pizza uh -huh. and it's uh, crunchy on the bottom and soft in the inside today is your studio you're gonna show me what you got okay but I'm gonna if you allow me I'm gonna make it with you so I'm gonna try to make my own ingredients with your dough and you're gonna make yours I want to see at the end of this video I'm gonna give you a vote okay I want to give you a vote. So guys, make sure. That's no, too much no worry. Take a run, run a little bit, and come back. Check these guys out because he deserves it. He's new on YouTube. He's got a lot of nice videos. Of course, the content is in Italian, but he said that he wants to introduce it in the USA, uh, in the English community. So let's go ahead and let's make this pizza. Okay, guys. Before we start this, make sure to check out this video until the end because uh, here. We made everything A to Z, from the dough recipe to making the pizzas, the ingredients, and at the end, it's a surprise. So let's get into this recipe. It's very simple. So one kilo of flour. Then we have 80% of water. Okay, 800 milliliter of water. 50 grams of olive oil. Then we have 25 grams of salt, active dry yeast. You can use two grams. Now we have fresh yeast. These are four grams. Let's start the recipe. That's why we are crazy with pizza. We're gonna get crazy. So go ahead. Dump all the flour. We have to make it with the dough machine, or we can make it by hands. You can make it by hands, but it's a bit difficult. Okay. But it's possible. Yeast. Yeast. Hmm. I usually put the yeast uh, uh, with the water. I melt the yeast. It's go, okay go. also. I didn't know. And then slowly, slowly we add the water. In the first time we can use the 60% of it. When the water is absorbed, we put, we put more water. Little by little. At this point we can put salt. And then I raise speed up. So it's for about a five minutes. Five to ten. Five to ten. And then same thing with olive oil. Yeah, the 20 grams of olive oil. Uh, 50 grams. So guys. We mix it until it's uh, uh, detached from the dough machine. So nice, about smooth and it, has it needs to be nice and smooth. So about 10-15 minutes. If after 10 minutes it's still sticky, we just take a rest for 10 minutes. So yeah, that's, what, you can I, see, that's what I always suggest to the people. See? It's still sticky. 
Still so, so we take a stop for 10 minutes. Okay, stop. This way, the gluten will become nice and strong. I always say that. It developed by himself. So Three minutes pass by. Okay. So we can already see that the yeah. gluten structure is different. I can see. It's so, already relaxing. So we can finish the dough. Oh, yeah. High speed. Finish. He's, uh, he's already detached from the from the dough from the dough machine. So let's take it out. It's weird to do pizzas, but I'm not I'm not actually doing the pizzas. <laughs> it's weird. Fantastic. Okay, so that's why I created this studio in Italy. This way I can invite all my friends or YouTubers to my pizza studio. So guys, if you know a YouTuber that likes the pizza or they would like to learn, please send me a comment, I will read it. Vine boy. Okay. That's so how we met. Bit of flour. Flour. Right. Okay. We dump it in the flour. Mm-hmm. Very hydrated. We close it. Okay. Where did you learn how to make pizzas? Oh, you saved that before, yeah, sorry. <laughs> nice, the power of the YouTube. Bit olive oil, right? On the side and everywhere. And then we can put it inside, close it. Let's close it. Okay, now we close it, and then what's the next step? Put it in the fridge, 20 hours. 20 hours in the fridge. And wash your hands. So, let's put it in the, in the fridge, 20 hours, and I'll see you tomorrow, guys. We're gonna go to sleep. Good morning. 20 hours. Good morning, good morning. Just good morning. wake up right now, oh my god. Just joking. We got everything ready. <laughs> the, the power of editing. Easy. Voila! Fantastic! And now what we do? Nice and we fermented. We make the balls. We make the balls. Let's make the balls. Easily, be, pay attention. Home. take a look. Take a look of the... Wow, the fermentation, the process. So now basically you have to take off all the air to the cross, right? to the dough, right? Yes. So let's explain it, let's explain it there. I didn't know that. See, I learned, after, I le I learned something from you today. Thank you. Thank you, Antonio. Basically, we, have, we cannot go by inches, we have to go by centimeters, which is more precise. So we have to do this to measure, to be able to uh, make the same exactly weight for this pan we have to do the side of uh, this which is uh, 20 centimeters times this side of this which is uh, 30 centimeter so we do 20 times 30 equals 600 so we have to do 600 and you divide it per 2 and it's 300 so we have to do 20 times 30 divided by 2 so it's 600 divided by 2, 300. That's how we find the weight for this pan. Equals 300 grams. This is double this. Uh, yeah, they understand. So, so same thing. So it's about 600 because the, the, the is double in this. Okay, okay. my master on math. Okay. Thank okay. you so much, Antonio. So let's do it. 300. Actually, we're doing the big one. So 600. So flour. Flour. And this is the easy way to close the door. You. Put. It's okay, bye Antonio, bye. Don't you worry. You put about. it on the flower. You pinch it and close it. Okay. Then you turn it. Pinch like it and close it. Turn it. Pinch it, close it. Turn it. Pinch, pinch it, it, close, close it. it. And continue like this. So basically you're gonna make a balloon. Yes. It's the same way how you make the bread. Okay. Wow. Take a look. Take a look how soft is the dough. Nice. Then, this is 600? Yes. Okay. Then we're gonna take a container. Yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna so put some now, oil on the bottom of the container. Yes, that's because after it will be easier. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's gonna be easier to take it out. You're gonna see this next. Place it. Four hours, room temperature. Four hours at room temperature and the dough is ready. Yes. Correct? Yes. Here you go after four hours. Quattro ore, Antonio. Mamma mia, che impasto. It's oh my puffy. god. Nice and puffy. Wow. Scopiamo? Vai. Attenzione, attenzione. Boom. Guys, the stretching part. Pay attention how we stretch. Semolina. So we got semolina. 
Fantastic. Okay. Pizza in teglia, typical okay. Romana. And just Boom. Flip, it over. flip it over, one shot. Take a look of the dough. It's nice and soft. The goal here is to keep the air inside the dough. The more is possible. See all this air inside? It needs to be in the dough. Of course. So that's how we stretch. A lot of semolina also. A lot of semolina. Good job, fantastic. Beautiful, looks amazing. And then it's not like Napoletana. No, so no. we just start from the outside, press it and go down. Like playing a piano. Fantastic. Like I see always, like a woman. Like a nice woman. and soft. Okay, now we can yeah. take the pan. So now we're gonna place it in this uh, special pan that I'm gonna try to link in the description. Uh, of course, guys, the oven is preheat around 40, to one hour, 40 minutes to one hour. So basically you can go ahead and make the pizza at home, just like that. This pizza is perfectly easy to make, perfect for your home oven. So we have a little bit of olive oil. Extra virgin olive oil. Of course. Just a little bit. Yes. No hands. We're gonna you stay can, clean. You can also use hands, also paper is good. Those okay. are metal pan, basically. Yes. So now what we're gonna do, because this step is very important. So you put it like this. Perfect, very gently, we take off the flour and boom, wow. And that's basically, we done it. Done, very simple. If it doesn't match the, the pan, yeah. you just, just take it and pull it. Like this. Okay, to make it like the same size of the pan. So basically they can make it also with, uh, with a circle pan or whatever. I see the thickness of the dough it needs to be all the same. Simple yes. margarita. Yes, Bye. tomato sauce. Oh, I'm very curious on this step right now. What are you gonna do? It's just, very curious. just a bit. But I'm curious on uh, what are you gonna do now? Because I know, I know the step okay. in this moment, so I'm very curious. I feel the pressure. Remember, I, I'm gonna Maestro, give you. Maestro, I I'm feel gonna, the pressure. I'm gonna give you a boat. I'm gonna give a boat to this guy. <laughs> be comfortable. Be comfortable. We are like brother now. Oh Brotherhood. My God. Brotherhood. Naples to Bari. One Naples second. A little bit of olive oil. Wow. Extra virgin like oil. Like it's raining. And what's the step now? And now we're gonna put this. I actually brought this from uh, this, this amazing company, Coppa, sent it to me from North in Italy. They make this amazing uh, salt, and they also they have a different ingredient which is what you're gonna go ahead and use right now. Smoke. This is basically sale marino liquido affumicato. But the most important thing there is uh, Iposodico. The salt here is only 1%. Okay. So go ahead and enjoy. Enjoy your ride. Just like Chanel. Wow. Guys, you have to pre-cook it. Yes. You, you can make it also at home. You just... Directly or pre-cook? Put, uh, put this pan in the bottom of, of the oven. Yes. And then when, when it's half cooked, you pull it out. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Because uh, you have to pre-cook the dough to be able to make the dough nice and crunchy. Yes. Let's go ahead, let's put it in the oven. Wow! Wow! <laughs> oh, stay buono, don't bruciare, stay buono. Remember guys, when you get burned, put a little bit of olive oil right away and then you, like this you're not gonna have uh, the bubble. I don't know. Okay, so now let's take it out. Wow, looks like a focaccia, outstanding. Let's take it out, you don't want to burn yourself, whoa. Let's close the oven right away, be careful because you can burn yourself. Wow, we have some black bubble there. Yeah, remember, remove this. So the broil was on? Yes, but Spetta. for, for the oven. You put the, the, of course, the timer. <laughs> the timer is important because everything needs to be made exactly how it's supposed to be. Stop on attimo. Max temperature on the barrel, no broil and uh, cook it for about eight minutes. So now let's finish the pizza with more ingredients. Again, tomato sauce. It's crunch, it's crunch. Oh my God. So basically now we're just gonna cook the ingredients and yes. the pizza is ready. Yes. Put mozzarella cheese. Of course the people they can put whatever they want. Of course. Olive oil. Olive oil rain. Mm -hmm. Okay. Say cheese. No more cheese. I like the extra cheese. Extra cheese. Uh, you brought the cheese from uh, Napoli. Uh, <laughs> when I did, uh, what are you doing? 
Okay. Okay. Done. So if you are at home, now you can. Let's turn around the broil. Ta -ta -ta -ta. And put the pizza on the top. Okay. Tuck, tuck, and put the pizza on top. Let's go. Bye. Ooh. So, uh, we're gonna wait two minutes until the. Two minutes. Until the mozzarella is bubbling. bubbling. Okay. <laughs> until the mozzarella is bubbling. So okay. about it takes about two minutes, right? Yes. Two minutes per minute. Yes. Okay, let's wait. In the meantime, don't forget thumbs up and subscribe. And subscribe, of course, to his channel and to my channel. Oh, hello, happy the bro. Hello. The pizza is ready. This guy was oh, joking, guys, right? Guys, guys, Take a look. Guys, oh, guys, we're guys. gonna burn the pizza. We're oh. doing the whole video, right? We oh. don't have extra dough. What, what, what are you doing? Oh my god, these young people today. <laughs> <laughs> these young people. Take a look of the pizza. Whoa. Wow. Amazing. Okay. Voila. And wow. Now. It's no pizza without. We have to do a margherita. Margherita, the color of the flag. Of course. Italy. Italy, vai. A te l'onore, vai. Italy. Fresh basil. You smell Italy right now. Organic basil. Wow. Wow. Let's see it inside. Let's see it inside. Vada a te l'onore. And now it's about to get. Shh, listen, listen, listen. Aspetta. Wait, wait, wait. Let's get some microphone in. Yeah. The crunchiest of the dough. That's what we want. Crunchy, crunchy, and soft in the same time. This is it. And wow. that's because of the air that is oh my inside. God, wow. Takes, wow. Take a close look. Wow. 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 Shall we try? He <laughs> <laughs> just said, Shall we try? Tin, here, that's yours, and that's mine. <laughs> wow! Oh, guys, that's enough. I'm gonna eat all pizza, it's really light <laughs> and soft in the same time. Mm. Take a look at the bottom of the pizza. Oh, this oven cooks really well, eh? Mm. I'm gonna eat this, I'll see you in a couple of minutes. <laughs> see you in a couple of minutes. Yeah, yeah, no, no one about. Oh, oh, no. Where are you going? Oh, no, oh, I'm gonna leave my pizza. Go, go. Wow. Oh my God, and off. I eat all pizza in the car, so I'm good. <laughs> that was good. Thank you. Let me show you mine. No problem. So flour on the floor. Take a look. Outstanding. Again, 600 grams. So now we want to dump the dough in the in the flour. Gently. Bam. Flour on top. So now, oh man, it's soft. Eh? It's really soft. I have to say, the hydration is really high. Finish. Can I have the pan? This is the pan that we just used. So I'm gonna make it a little bit different. A little bit of olive oil on the pan. The brush. Now, pay attention to this step. This step needs to be made really quick because if you keep it in your hands, it's gonna, it's gonna stretch too much. So try to take off the flour as much as you can. And then go ahead and put it in the center of the, of the, of the pan. Now, easily pinch it and put your finger under and try to keep it all on the same level. The goal here is to make all the dough in the same level. Voila. I'm gonna make it a little bit different from you. So I'm gonna put the olive oil. And this is basically a pizza romana gourmet. Like you say, Chanel. Number five. <laughs> mm, tastes good make a couple of uh, holes, not too much. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and put it in the oven for about eight minutes. In this case, we're gonna cook it all the way because I'm gonna put ingredients outside. I'm not gonna put any more 
the pizza in the oven. So let's go ahead, max temperature. Of course, you cannot, don't turn it on the, the broil, and then go ahead and put it in the oven for about eight minutes at the max temperature. Okay guys, the pizza ooh, is ready. Nice and crunchy, let's check the bottom. Bottom is perfect, wow. So now Antonio, watch this. Eh? So I'm gonna make this pizza with this fantastic pate di pomodorini secchi. So this is basically a pesto of uh, sun dryer tomato. Something typical, pate, olive, olives and uh, anchovies, yes. It's like olive soul. Voila, fresh mozzarella on top, just like that. That's for you. Thank you so much, Antonio. Hold on, but before that, you know what? I want to give it a little, a little crunchiest, more crunchiest. Let me put a couple of seconds in the oven. Uh, one minute, the time to get the dough a little bit more crunchy because I like the crunch that I tasted before. One minute. And, uh, Done, pizza's ready. This time I'm gonna use the peel because uh, I don't wanna get burnt. Voila! That is exactly perfection. Not yet. Oh. Voila, take a look. Are you watching? No. Of course. We're not done yet. Now, get the basil and uh, we chop it. Oh. It's a chiffonade. Chiffonade. I call it taglio la julienne. Now it's time. Wow. Crunchy and soft oh. in the same time. Which one you want to taste, Antonio? This is your This one. Wow. Take a look. Even this one come out nice. Look how much hair is inside. <laughs> Thank you for all your experience. Wow. Mmm. Mmm. Wonderful job. Wonderful job. Mm. Outstanding, guys. Antonio, you eat it, my friend. I eat all your pizza before now. I'm, I'm not I'm just really light. That's I'm still incredible. hungry. Nati, guys, what do you want to say? I don't want to say nothing. I just want to eat. Thank you so much, guys. From Maestro Video Copelli, Antonio from Malati di Pizza. Make sure you check him out and, guys, give him a shot. Subscribe to both our channels. I'll see you at the next one. And uh, leave a thumbs up. Mm -hmm. This way, you're gonna judge me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Bye. Right. I'm gonna judge you first. I think your pizza was 10 on 10. For Amazing. Me, it's a 10 out of 10. But because you made the dough, but it's outstanding. The topping is incredible. The toppings is the topping. Thank you so much, guys. And then it's your turn to comment below 1 to 10. What do you think of this pizza? And guys, let's make this video to 50,000 likes for more. Ciao.